Hello and welcome back to the channel. Hey, I'm Ron with Ideal Industries. In this segment, we're going to talk about how to terminate a Category 6 jack onto a piece of uh, Category 6 uh, cable. And so let's move over to the shop and I'll show you how to do this. Here we're looking at a, a Category 6 connector in its baggie. And this particular connector is made by our buddies over at Leviton, so you know it's a high quality connector. And uh, when I take the connector out of the baggie, what you find are two parts here. You find the, the body of the uh, connector itself, and you find this little dust cover, which we'll put on last over here, so I'll set it out of the way. And uh, when you look at this connector from our buddies at Leviton, it's their Extreme 6 Plus stuff, so it's a really good quality connector. And you've you got to understand something. When you're terminating a connector like this, you're normally sitting on a bucket uh, at an all outlet, or you're underneath a, a desk, and you're using the wall to punch down against, or the knee, or the floor. And in many cases, we end up damaging like the wall and have to repaint it. Or, in some cases, these connectors end up rolling on us, and we end up damaging the connector, which is actually worse. So you'll find uh, people do make what are called termination pucks, and these are just an aid in helping us actually terminate the connector. And it's just a device that's going to hold the connector stable for us. And you'll find this particular connector uh, goes into this opening on this particular termination puck, and it kind of locks itself down in there, and it's nice and stable and won't move on us when we go to terminate. Now you see the connector is labeled in the B format, and so the orange and uh, blue go on this side, and the green and brown go on the opposite side. And you'll find on these connectors that these uh, connectors have what are called separation towers, which is an aid in actually maintaining our twists right to our connections. Now the first thing we need to do is strip a little bit of a Category 6 cable. So I'm going to take some uh, Category 6 cable here, and with my little stripping tool I'm going to uh, strip that cable. And once around should do it just fine. Okay. And we're just going to pop and break that and take off that outer jacketing. Now this particular cable has a ribbon in it and a kind of a nylon cord in it there. Okay, So I'm going to take my uh, little snip here and I'm going to cut those two out of there. Okay, And now we're ready to actually start terminating this onto the puck itself, or the jack itself. And since the green and um, brown go on one side and the blue and the orange go on the other side, I'm going to kind of separate the pairs like that. And then when I go to lay this in there, you'll find that we want to make sure our outer jacket is somewhere close to a half inch to the connection itself. And again, we can use that little separation tower to actually separate the pair for us. And you can use a tool like a little spudger device like this to actually set the pairs in the connections for us. And then when we go to terminate with our termination tool, the tool will straddle the wire. should be straight up and down on it. If anything, you're leaning a little into the cutting edge. And when we push this tool down, it'll actually terminate that wire down inside that connection. And uh, there we've terminated the blue pair. And if we want to move over here to the orange, we'll move over to orange. And in some cases, we might have to untwist just a little bit of this cable to get it actually in the little separation tower. Okay. There we go. And again, I'll use my tool, little spudger device, to set the pairs down inside of there. And go ahead and terminate this orange pair. Okay. And now we've done this one side of the connector, so we'll move over to the other side. So I'm going to spin this around and uh, ter start terminating this green pair over here. And again, we're just going to use our little tower there to help separate our pairs. I can use my little tool here again to set the conductors inside the, each particular slot. And again, use my punch down tool to punch this down with. And lastly, we move on to the brown pair. And again, you might have to untwist just a little bit of this cable because it is very twisted. And uh, But we want to maintain as much of that twisting as we can right to the connections themselves. Okay, and again, use that little tower. And use my little tool one more time here. Whoops. Set those conductors. And we're ready to terminate that last pair. All right. And uh, it's terminating. All right. Well, there you go. And the cable comes right out kind of the back like you see it here. And uh, there's a dust cover as well. And that dust cover will just kind of slip over everything and uh, slide it all the way on. I say that. There we go. And it snaps in. And we can kind of wiggle this out of the, the termination puck itself. And there you have a ter properly terminated Category 6 jack onto a piece of a Category 6 cable. And you see that wasn't too bad. Hey, thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. My name is Ron with Ideal Industries, and I'll plan on seeing you on the next one.